Yay, what's up? We're going to react to the Juice McConan new freestyle that came out, I think, yesterday. My name is Pat. I'm a freestyle rap coach. I'm going to give tips along the way to help you freestyle at the Juice World level. I'm not as good as Juice, but I have moments where I'm able to reach that level. I've been studying Juice World and Harry Mack for the last few years. I've been freestyling for 25 years. I use freestyle to write songs, and we're going to try to break it down from that kind of perspective, that kind of you know, experience and try to give you tips, yeah, along the way to help you freestyle. So let's check it out. Uh, get into it. Rest in peace, Juice. Hey, Chris brought it, man. Well, no, yeah, I can tell. This ass is going to hit me. He's going to hit me up on the motorcycle. Oh, this is cool. So you got to freestyle with the piano. That's cool. This is so hard, bro. So yeah, I'm going to play this. Dang, so he's already come up with the chorus. I love that it's emotional. I love how he's comfortable being emotional and just letting out whatever comes out to, to him. And that's really cool. When you're freestyling, you just gotta really trust yourself, see what the words are inspired by the music, and you just roll with that. Let's go watch it. I wonder if you're still on my mind. Screaming, hey, how you doing? I know that I'm still on your mind I wonder what's going on in my mind I can't help it I've been balling on these niggas No cells, raping felts And all they and they feelings From shit that they can't control Ain't no comment I know why they ain't feeling Yeah, another great thing is You really want to practice over different types of beats like if you can find a piano with no drum beat practice freestyling like that is a really smart way to kind of get used to just finding rhythms like you kind of you know it's usually a loop you know you find a piano loop or something and it's a great way to just test out your flows and your freestyles and also connect emotionally a lot a lot of times it's can sometimes be easier to connect really emotionally with a beat when it's just uh, a piano you know because you just focus on one instrument. Niggas broke, I bet when they do the struggle, yeah, that shit takes a toll. I pray to God for protection, ain't nothing like a good soul. I really search for perfection. Every person I know is far from perfect, but so am I, so I don't care no more. I just want sex. Yeah, so the other thing, I love that Juice World is uncensored. I love that, but you know, Juice World's uncensored with his lyrics. He could talk about sex and guns and whatever, whatever. But the awesome thing that he's uncensored about is his emotions. Like a lot of new rappers or even like rappers have been rapping for a long time, especially if they come from a more battle background, they have a wall up and they're scared to let themselves be emotional over beat. And if you want to be a songwriter and write songs, like for me, I use freestyle to write songs. So. It's really important with songwriting to be able to let your emotions shine through and to be able to let yourself kind of open up, let your heart open up, no matter whatever pain you're going through, whatever. And Juice World was, you know, a real artist, and he let his pain come up during his freestyles, which made his music connect with lots of people, and he's doing that right now. He's showing that he's not afraid to share his true heart with the world. Love, ecstasy, I popped a few drugs. Ecstasy, I just want sex, love, ecstasy, I took a few drugs. Hey Martha, why you killing those girls? Is it because your lonely heart wants to kill the world? I've been doing that all for you so I can get you close. And what's up, what's up? And also, the other thing. Truth World's not freestyling, or he's not rhyming every line while freestyling. So when you're starting out, two golden rules when, when learning how to freestyle is don't worry about rhyming every line. Don't worry if you make sense. You know, don't stop and don't stop. So basically, don't worry about rhyming and don't stop. Those are the two golden rules. From there, if you just practice that, you can start freestyling, start opening them up. It took me After I learned those two rules, it took me about three years to get really, really good. If you want to go a little faster, I put all my 25 years of freestyle coaching into the Freestyle Natural Masterclass. That's below. Check that out. It's all for you, sex and love, ecstasy. She thinks that I'm the one, so she's next to me. She just wants sex, love and ecstasy. She thinks that I'm the one. Oh. 
So Juice World looks really tired here. The cool thing about being tired, maybe in freestyling, maybe he's making songs for a while, but or maybe he's just tired, I don't know. But the cool thing about being tired is that usually your guard is down, it's easier to kind of let emotions come up. So if you force yourself to freestyle for like a half hour, maybe that last half hour, if you're trying to go for an hour, will be a lot more emotional because your walls are kind of more down. Hey, how you feeling? Girl, we're on a planet called Earth, but this is Juice World. I wonder why I pop perks and do pearls and maybe just take an added focus. Yeah, that's a really cool thing about Juice World. Yeah, I think that's a big reason why he connects with so many people because he was uncensored on every level. Like he talked about, like I said, sex, dr drugs, drag and roll, all different types of funny stuff like that. But then he also was uncensored and was totally free with his emotions. He didn't hide anything. He let it all out. And that is, uh, I think, why he connected. And it's it's cool that other people connect with him because he did put his real emotions in the track. So yeah, thanks for saying that, Sleepy. Three things in my mind right now the sex, love, ecstasy, the best of. Three things in my mind right now the sex, love, sex, love. So he's like used to making choruses on the spot. You can see he's like, this is like his second chorus that he's made so far in just the first two minutes, 54 seconds. Uh, he just comes up with choruses. He finds parts that he can repeat that sound cool. And he's always looking for that kind of catchy part, and it's cool. Good sex, love. Good sex, love. No flex, love. All phone calls. No text, love. Can't get caught up. Situations brought up. Daily, I've been fucked up. So hot, what the fuck, bruh? Hey. Imagine if ChatGPT. Oh, hold on a second. Let me uh, let me hide that commercial real quick. This is live, so that's why you see the commercials. But I'm gonna keep going, and then we're gonna get back into this. You know any other chord progressions? He's like, you know any other chord progressions? Yeah, that's my about. <laughs> so he wants to try something new. <laughs> that was funny. He's like, do you know anything else? Do you know any other keys, or you only know those three keys you've been playing? That's cool question. But were you going to check out his last album, The Party Never Ends, whenever the hell they release it? Um, yeah, so he has an album that it's not out yet. Uh, yeah, I'm down to check out an album when it comes out. Or is it already out? Is it already leaked? I don't know. <sighs> Sell them dope to get risky. So yeah, it's cool. Like The cool thing about when you learn how to freestyle is that you open yourself up and then you can put on beats and just kind of freestyle. Um, the other thing is, it's a lot easier when you're open with your emotions. A lot of people kind of hide their emotions or not in touch with their emotions yet. So what you want to do is find beats that you feel like you connect to emotionally and allow yourself to just kind of say whatever, you know. Juice World isn't doing like the hard, like these are, like, he's not doing like the hardest, like deepest lyrics. And even in his songs, it's not the hardest, deepest lyrics, but it's really emotional. It feels very real. And so I feel like that takes a lot of pressure off for you guys, so, you know, if you're watching. You know, you don't have to be the most crazy poet. I think in some freestyles, Juice is doing like very clever punchlines and all that stuff. But a lot of the songs, it's more its more just about his love life, you know, struggling with depression um, and drug use and struggling with addiction. And he's, he's pretty straight up about it. It's not, it's not like crazy too complicated. And I think... I think you guys can do that. Just talking about whatever's real for you, whatever your experience. You don't have to talk about drugs. Like I said, we talk about on this channel a lot. You need to have your passion topics. What are your passion topics? What do you like to rap about? Is it baseball cards? You know, is it movies you like? Is it the X-Men? Is it Deadpool? What are you into? That's what you got to focus on. I thought Juice World had like thousands of songs that are unreleased. I thought there's like a lot more. I feel like they could release Juice World albums for like the rest of time. I'm looking hey. forward to it. It's going downtown. <laughs> it's going downtown. It's going yeah, exactly. Juice World does a lot of emotion mixed with talking and metaphors. And I feel like I think Juice World. He's, it seems like Juice World mostly saves most of his hardcore metaphors for his like radio freestyles. If you listen to his songs, I feel like it's it's not as like hardcore metaphors. I feel like it's more just straight up emotion. And a lot of pop songwriting is more 
about being conversational. It's not about being as crazy metaphors and similes as much. Like, I'll have a little bit of that. But when I heard like a lot of his albums and stuff, it's more just straight up emotion, just raw feeling, you know, just kind of a lot more conversational. And it's like, when I study a lot of pop songwriters, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to have conversations, like, you know, so that when people hear it, it's easy to digest, easy to understand instantly. You know, because if you're trying to make songs that connect with billions of people, you want your songs easy to understand. You're not, not necessarily water them down, but as long as they're real for you. And I think sometimes it can be really hard as artists. We want to overcomplicate everything, but sometimes the hardest thing is to write really simple lyrics. And Juice World, you know, he was so open, honest, and sometimes the honesty is just the simplest way to say something. But yeah. First street. We'll take it all around town. First street. Ball on these niggas like I'm spawning. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, it's something he said before. Ball on these people like I'm Spalding, right? The, the basketball brand. I've heard him say that before. Yeah, and it's okay, again, to recycle lines that are dope. Like, it's a dope line, you know, use it. Ball on these niggas like I'm Spalding. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear you talking. Yeah. I give her the deed and I follow with no offense. She don't take no offense because I'm too busy balling. Kobe, Michael, Ginobili, Michael, Jackson, Jordan, the Myers. I can't tell. Guess I'm all three. Either way, go. Yeah, so another one of his passion topics are is basketball, sports people. I'm not into sports, so I don't talk about that. But Juice World's really into sports. So he understands, he's very familiar with all these athletes, so he compares himself to those athletes. I'm all three, right? So maybe maybe, uh, maybe you're not into sports. Maybe you're into, like, X-Men. Like, I'm into Wolverine. I'm into Deadpool. I'm into, um, I was about to say Hercules, but that's not an X-Men. Who's another X-Men? Iceman. Iceman. Wolverine. Deadpool, I'm all three. Like, you can switch it up with something like your own interest, you know? Okay, so to freestyle rap like Juice World, first thing you want to do is get comfortable just not worrying about rhyming. That's the foundation. Don't worry about rhyming. Just allow yourself to just kind of say whatever. Don't worry about making sense. Don't worry about rhyming every line. Just keep going. Don't stop if you mess up. That's the first rule. That'll help you have the foundation. Then you want to master your flows, and that's kind of just learning how to scat over beats. ba ba deba deba Juice World has an amazing flow. He's able to use his voice as an instrument, and that just means kind of just seeing what flows are inspired without even using words, right? Once you can do that, then you can start learning uh, the setup lines and punch lines, plus adding that level of emotion, and you can you can start to learn to freestyle. I, I know it's hard to believe that you can learn how to freestyle like Juice World, but you can totally do this. You can do this, and you're gonna probably going to have your own style. You're going to have your own things that you rap about, but you can freestyle full songs if you open yourself emotionally and you allow yourself to just open up over beats and you find beats that, you know, inspire your feelings and connect with you. Then around town, she took some white and some yellow, then went down, down. I'm the king of this shit, I need a crown, crown. Big boy pants while walking around town. Um, word to your mother, get into this cash, dirty money. Another thing that Juice World's really comfortable with is word association. So he's just allowing himself to go off. And then he's just thinking about, okay, what does this word remind me of? What does this word remind me of? Okay, a muffin. Okay, he's talking about, could be I got a muffin in the oven. It's pregnancy. Maybe he didn't want to stay on pregnancy, so he kept on going. And talking. Whatever these words remind you of, that's how you're able to keep going. And so that just takes your mind being open and just allowing why you're freestyling. Just pick the first thing that you think of. You know, everyone's going to think of a different related word, like muffin in the oven. I thought of pregnancy. Maybe him, he's going to think of uh, drugs or something. Or maybe you are going to think of a muffin. You're just going to think about a muffin that your mom bakes you, you know, because it's sweet. Or maybe you think about a banana muffin. Or maybe think about a blueberry muffin. It all depends on your life experience to how you, how you got to where you're at now, you know? So they got an X next to my X name. X. Like my name, Malcolm. Listen to the outcome. Ooh. I feel like a you know what? That's a that's a cool rhyme. I don't know why I like that so much. My name Malcolm. Listen to the outcome. I really like how that sounded. That was tight. Never doubt us. Try to sell my soul. They got an X next to my name. Like my name Malcolm. Listen to the outcome. I feel like a phantom. Danny with the phantom. Handsome with a handgun. Kill him out the random. I crawl fast. Hey, 
So yeah, one of Juice's passion topics is guns. Kill him with a handgun, you know? Maybe, see, a lot of rappers will mess up by trying to rap about the same stuff that he's into. If you're into guns, cool, talk about guns. If you know a lot about guns, Juice World knows a lot about a lot of different types of guns. I don't know anything about guns, so I don't rap about that. You know, but you got to figure out what what is your passion topics. And your passion topics could be something that really hurts you, something that you really love, or something that you really hate. You know, because passion can go either way. Passion can be like something you hate, something that bothers you. could be a trauma. Like for me, I got cheated on. Bitch, you cheated on me. You know, uh, and I, I made whole albums about that, just freestyle. So, and like half of my albums were like freestyle. They're not the best because I didn't know how song structure at the time. But I just like freestyle stuff because when you're in that emotional moment where you let yourself be vulnerable in life and then you feel stupid about it and you put on a beat, it's easier to let yourself be emotional in, uh, you know, put yourself in a vulnerable position. It's easier to be vulnerable to a beat. Torrential, hey, I'm a beast, I'm a dog, pockets obese, fat. Uh, bad bitch sitting, probably smoking in the back. Mm. Uh, if I go broke, it's back to selling all them packs, mm. moving back with your mom, why she shove it in her back? Uh, police come over, I don't know shit. I don't even know my name. I think that is. Police come over, I don't know shit. That's funny, I like that. Police come over, I don't know shit. <laughs> Them packs moving back with your mom while she shove it in her back. Uh, police come over, I don't know shit. I don't even know my name. I think that is Moses. I really keep on killing my opponents. I get commas, I get commas. You still counting exponents. Can't you see the difference? You know it. Uh, no Adderall in my system, but I stay focused. Going through the motions, a notion. Uh, life's too deep, so I compare it to an ocean. Guess I'm sharp, but like big jaws. So yeah, so he's talking about ocean. So now he's letting his mind uh, free associate. Like what is related to an ocean? He's talking about a big shark, right? I'm like big jaws, all right? Now it's so going from shark. Now he's talking about movies because like the movie shark. And then, and then you don't know. That's kind of the magic of freestyle. You don't know where you're going to go. You're just trusting the process. Okay, what is my mind going to think of now? You know, your mind is wild. It thinks about crazy stuff. And and typically, while we, we mess ourselves up by judging ourselves, oh, that's not good. And that all, that's how we get stuck and we stop in a freestyle because, like, you know, you're only going to stop is if you're judging yourself. But if you're just trusting and you think everything that you say is dope, like Juice World, he trusts himself. Everything that he says, he knows is going to be dope. doesn't matter. doesn't matter how weird it is, perverted or scary or vulnerable. He's down to say anything. He's open to say anything. And that's why he doesn't stop. He can keep on going forever because he doesn't judge himself as bad. It just keeps going. And that's the sign of a pro. Put big dick in a thick broad. Mm. W W W die. You ain't on shit, nigga. Die con. <laughs> die con. <laughs> w W W die. So he said die, and then it reminded him of the word die con. You know, he said jaws, and then it remind it it rhymed with broad. So he said broad. Uh, and so he's just switching it off. He's letting the rhymes dictate where he goes next. And he's also letting the subject matter. So it's like, what rhymes with this? Or what is this about? And that's how he's kind of going off on these tangents. And it's making it cool. All right, let's keep going. Thank you. <laughs> 100% like, yeah, that, that's kind of like a hack. I mean... A lot of people aren't used to using the more melodic part of your voice. It's kind of like a different part of your brain, a different part of your voice, but it's a really good thing to practice. I have a free rap flow scatting course below where we practice a little bit of melody and practice scatting without words so you can get comfortable and have that foundational flow because you need that when you're songwriting or you're freestyling. Um, but yeah, using melody does give yourself time to freestyle, time to think while you're freestyling. Like, it just gives yourself time to think. You know, when you're putting on beats and you're using the melodic part, instead of just rapping really fast, where you have less time to think, gives you more time to think. And it's fun. And and it's like actually makes more, can make more catchy stuff. Like if someone's a rapper, more rapidy raps, like a lot of times that people won't remember like everything that you're saying. But like if you're doing a melody, people are more likely to remember it. It gives you more time to think about stuff. And it kind of helps you access your more emotional side, which is helps connect with people too. And yourself. It's like, good, it's good therapy. <laughs> Yeah, McConan's dope. I think go McConan ghostwrites for a lot of people. I think he produces for a lot of people. He makes amazing music. I think lately he's been more behind the scenes uh, writing songs for people. Um, but yeah, he's kind of like a ghostwriter, but he's sick. McConan's dope. <laughs> Flow is actually really easy to teach. People overcomplicate it by adding words. But if you focus on flow first before words, it becomes a lot easier. 
most people mess up their flow by because you know as if you, especially if you want to be a songwriter rapper songwriters and rappers we love words right and so when i first started out i was just writing in my notebook writing words in my notebook but i wasn't allowing but because i was writing in my notebook you know i didn't know if i was good i didn't know if it sounded good because i wasn't rapping out loud and the only way you're gonna know if you're good is if you're rapping out loud so for me i didn't know if i was good um and i was writing in my notebook and then I had some friends who are like older, who I saw freestyling at my high school. They were freestyling, they kind of forced me. I was a really shy kid, I was really depressed. All I did was do my school and that's it. These guys kind of like pushed me to freestyle with them and um, I didn't want to do it, but they just kind of kept pushing me and I freestyled a little bit. And that was my first time freestyling out loud in front of someone, but they were like super positive, super nice about it, even though I sucked. And that's kind of what I needed to just kind of open up and start allowing myself to suck and having fun. And I got better and better and better. And then I started using freestyling to write songs. Um, but again, most people, we're not taught flow in school. We're not taught how to use our voice as an instrument. You know, scatting is, and so the key to learning flow is to say, forget the words. Trust that you already know how to write. Trust that you already know how to put words together. Forget the words for now. Focus on just going baba da ba da ba da ba ba or sky mumbling over beats without saying any words. Less words you say, the better to master your flow. And then once you're comfortable coming up with flows over beats, then start adding words. Take my free rap flow course below if you need help with that. This is one of fuck rich niggas glitch coming. It's me and McCullough and we ain't losing. This is sick. And so Juice was just allowing, he's not pl pre planning these melodies. He's just saying whatever kind of melody comes to him. Like when you're hearing a beat, it's just like whatever comes to him. And this melody is fire. Like, like people have been saying, like, it's fire. <clears throat> yeah, it, it already sounds like super catchy song right here. No, 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 no. That sounds sick. It's me and McCauley, and they was winning wheels. Do all of the bullshit, I guess the women do drink. I guess I'm a shit. Run up, you get hit, nigga shooting out the back seat. You say boat, make them run like a track me. I heard him say that before. You saying boat, make them run like a track me. That's a fire line. Let's keep going. Me, run up, you get hit, nigga shooting out the back seat. You say boat, make them run like a track me. Flexing on these niggas, damn, I'm feeling like a athlete. Louis on. Oh, yeah, I haven't reacted to the full one hour. I was studying it when I made my uh, freestyle rap juice world course. I studied that one. Uh, to break it down and I you know if you want if you do want to go deeper you can take that class if you want to really really learn how to freestyle a lot faster um, but I will react to it I've already seen I think most of it but I will react to it live here so that you can I, I'll, I'll break it down live Say you wanna fight, shoot, duke it out, whatever. Get your ass to hand so I go grab my new Beretta. In the streets, I be maneuvering, maneuvering. Do the streets be maneuvering, maneuvering. I'm a shit, I'm maneuvering, maneuvering. Dang, he just came up with another chorus. In the streets, I'm maneuvering. That sounds like a sick chorus, too, right there. Uh, how many hours do you think Juice World freestyled before he passed? I don't know. It seems like, well, he's been freestyling since he was like, what, like 10 or maybe 8? He's been freestyling forever, so. Could be definitely over 10,000. Maybe 100,000. Maybe a million hours. I don't know how many hours, but you got to calculate, let's say, two hours a day. Been doing it since he was 8 years old. Shit. I'll let you guys do the math. No, Young Terry Crews, I'm a flex. That's pretty tight. Terry Crews is hilarious. Hey, young Terry Crews, I'm a flex on these niggas. I'm a fuck they bitch and give a neck. Then I'm dipping like I get my foot out. I'm coming and all these niggas tripping. They just get, they be drizzy as something. So he kind of messed up, tripped up a little bit, but he keeps going. And that's what you gotta kind of do when you're freestyling. You mess up, just keep going. Nobody knows, and you just look more confident that way because he just shows you trust yourself regardless if you mess up. 
dime for that shit. Drop a dime on a bitch, let a dime, cause I'm rich. She a dime, so I hit, yeah. Why she taking so long to cook your breakfast? Cause last week I was in that kitchen getting wrecked with her. Getting neck, getting, getting neck to her. Pussy take like water, I'ma have to do it. Say he want a problem, I'm gonna have to do it. Now they on the news like he ain't have to do it. What the fuck you doing? Bitch, your shorty in my party. Yeah, that's who I'm screwing. Hey, I'm a new one. I'm maneuvering. Yeah, so he's coming up with a chorus right there. That's fire. So again, pick your passion topics. Have your list of passion topics that you like. Get your flow down. Make sure that you can freestyle without worrying about rhyming or messing up. And then you have a strong foundation. And and also the, the big the big flip between him and Harry Mack is that Juice World's not afraid to be vulnerable. Once you can flip on that switch and allow yourself to be emotional over beats. Then you can freestyle full songs like Juice World in an emotional way. Songs that actually connect because you're talking about real stuff. Like, let the music be your therapist, you know, let it be your therapy. I'm a new girl. Well, hey, I think I think that's a weird question. I feel like anything can be considered a mess up, but as long as you keep going, it doesn't matter. You're talking about like solid, you know, bar for bar for bar for bar for bar. I don't know because I feel like even if you go off flow a little bit, it could be a mess up in the thing. Like, depends on what you think is a mess up. The main part is like, if you're asking that question, that means you're already judging yourself and others and you don't want to do it. I feel like the only time you mess up is if you stop, right? But if you keep going, then that that's key, right? Because the only time you mess up is if you stop, just like in anything in life. The only time you fail is if you quit, right? The only time you lose is if you quit. But if you keep going, then you, you haven't you haven't lost yet. You know what I'm saying? Freestyling is hard because when you mess up, it's super hard to keep going. So that means if you... Okay, tell, tell me why freestyling is hard for you. I'd love to know. Tell me more about why freestyling is hard for you. But this is, this is a really common thing. Um... Freestyling is hard because when you mess up, it's super hard to keep going. So what happens is Juice World messed up and he kept going. He just allowed himself to change subjects or to go back. Sometimes Juice World will go back and he'll fix it. Or sometimes Juice will just keep going and change it to something else. And that's a sign of a pro. And so as as beginners, you know, beginners, like we compare ourselves to Juice World or we compare ourselves to like the best freestyle rappers of the game. Like Juice World wasn't around when I started freestyling, but it's easy to compare yourselves to like the best rappers that you know, or, or maybe your friends who are really good at freestyling or famous rappers. And so all we're doing when we're comparing is we're judging ourselves. And anytime, like they studied freestyle rappers in the MRI study with the brain, the scientists studied that, you can look up that study. Whenever they start judging themselves, this freestyle stops. You know, because when you're freestyling, you're opening up your mind, you're slowing down the, your judgmental part of the brain, you're kind of like shutting that down so that you could freestyle freely. You know, it's kind of like a lot of rappers will do drugs to freestyle, but you don't need drugs. You just need to be able to trust yourself and what, get in the flow. And when you can get in the flow, you just keep going. Um, so yeah, just don't stop. So that, that's why you got to force yourself when you're starting out to not stop. I consider mess up is whenever you stop completely. Yeah, so you just don't stop. Like, because, like, you can make the silliest mess up or whatever. You can say something you don't want to say or whatever. You just keep going. You Use everything. Like, use your mess ups in your freestyle and you can keep going. Like, oh, damn, I messed up. Now I got to play catch up, you know, whatever. Life, like life, probably messed up a bunch of times, but that doesn't mean you, you can't do better. Exactly. This, as long as you don't quit, it, it, it's freestyle is totally has lots of life lessons. Like, it's not about being perfect. But you also don't understand, not every freestyle of Juice is perfect. It's just that he doesn't stop. And so you're going to get a lot more amazing moments. Like you're going to surprise yourself with what you can say, what you can do when you force yourself to just keep going. But if you stop yourself, then you're, you're cutting off all that creative flow. You know, it's so important to just keep going. That's why those two golden rules are don't worry about rhyming and don't stop if you mess up. Because then you can let your subconscious to start going. And then eventually you get to a point where you get so tired that you're... you're, you're you're too tired to even judge yourself. You're too tired to hate on yourself. Like there's so much self hatred in the world. Like we're we're taught to hate ourselves by looking at Instagram and comparing ourselves to other people, whatever. Or that. But, bro, 
Trust yourself. Keep going. Don't have to be perfect. Fuck you in the car. I got it. Say you got depression. I got it. <laughs> like that nigga was up in the sewer or something. That's <laughs> hard. Well, it's cool that McCona seems to be having a lot of fun with Juice World. It seems like McCona has a lot of love for Juice World. It's cool to see them hanging out. Move, move, move. You want to take that song, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. So I think, um, all right, so there's two, cons- two of the top freestyle rappers in the world, uh, modern times today. Are, you know, the most popular are Juice World and Harry Mack, right? So do I think his freestyle buildings are what made him rise so fast? So I think freestyling will help anybody make songs easier, right? It's easier to write songs when you're in the flow. It helps words come to you. Like you're in the shower, words come to you. Walking down the street, words come to you. When you Once you're comfortable freestyling, it opens up, it kind of breaks through a wall in your subconscious or whatever, or it breaks through the wall of the illusion between the conscious and subconscious mind that there really is no wall, and then eventually you're just tapping in. Anyways, creativity starts flowing. The difference, though, is that Juice World made songs that got billions of streams. Harry Mack hasn't made a song that got billions of streams yet. And what I think is the difference is that Juice World he turned on the vulnerability switch, as I, I call it, the vulnerability switch. He was not, not afraid to get vulnerable and talk about real stuff, emotional stuff. And he's uncensored. He's uncensored on every level. Not only is he talking about stuff that his personal life, he's using the music as therapy, um, he's also talks about sex and a lot of popular music they like when you're talking about sex they like when you're talking about relationships and stuff harry mack decided i think that he doesn't want to talk about sex he doesn't really talk about really relationships with girls um and those are my favorite type of songs like i like relationships with girls i like difficult times with girls depression i like that type of stuff but i think harry mack has decided he wanted to talk about more positive stuff and that's cool but i think it might have hurt him a little bit with popular music because most of the popular music kind of is more negative because most people relate to more negative emotion so yeah, does that answer the question? So what made him rise so fast is him being vulnerable, being an amazing, having amazing flow, and yeah, just putting his heart out there, but being uncensored on every level. And I don't know. But also, he's just a cool dude. He's a cool guy. It's how he did music. Let's see. I think he knew what side he chose. Yeah, I think, I, I think Juice World's a real artist where he embraced every side. He embraced the positive sides of humanity. He embraced his love for his girlfriend. And he also embraced the dark side. So he's, he was just open completely to every part of existence. You know, we all have dark sides, we all have light sides, and he was just open to all of it. And I think that's what makes a real artist. Let's see. No, I don't think so. I hate when people say he only rise so quickly before his death was because of his freestyles, but his debut album charted. Oh, I see what you're saying. So w- when he said that, I was thinking about his songs. I was thinking he used his freestyles to make songs, you know. So I think him being amazing at freestyling is great, but I think... Um, him being able to turn his freestyles to amazing songs is because he was vulnerable, if that makes sense. Six minutes, I remember that. Maybe I try to pick that up. But yeah, that's a big difference. See, most people who freestyle aren't able to make songs that connect with that many people. And it's because a lot of freestyle rappers come from a battle background where they're guarded. They have a block up from, from their vulnerability and they're not being as vulnerable as they can be because... They're trying to protect themselves all the time, but Juice World just open. Yeah, Benny Blanco's dope. So yeah, Ju- Benny Blanco worked with Juice World. They made hell of songs, and Benny Blanco was so amazed by Juice World. And uh, you know, Benny Blanco's worked with the best songwriters in the world, and he said he's never seen uh, somebody freestyle like that, like Juice World. So that was really cool. All right, another ad. Hold on just a second. Let me uh, get this ad out the way real quick, and then we'll keep going. So that's a long freestyle. Thanks for recommending this. Somebody recommended me this. I appreciate it. We'll get to this freestyle. This, this is like the damn the hardest one around because it's like a beat for real. Harry Mack is more, I, I, I talked about them, like Harry Mack is a more external freestyle. He talks about stuff around him and the bars, and it's super dope. Like he's amazing, amazing freestyler, super dope. It's more setup line and punchline style. Juice World's a more of an internal IC freestyle. Like talks, he's more talking about his internal world, and he can do the setup line and punchline stuff, but it's more about the internal expression and using music as therapy. And I feel like Harry Mack's more entertainment, and Juice World's more about the therapeutic aspect. <laughs> Tell me right now, uh, 
why do you guys think you can't freestyle like Juice World right now or freestyle like at that level? Like, what's keep holding you back from freestyling at the Juice World level right now? I want to know. Yeah, Harry Max is dope. That was a sick melody. Dun, 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 dun. Dude, already so catchy. He just really comfortable coming up with the melodies. Really cool. Back in the day, I was lit. Kind of like a lime and a comedy juice. Yeah, and to come up with the melodies, you just got to allow yourself to experiment. You know, allow yourself to be melodic first, get comfortable being melodic, and then start experimenting with your voice. And Juice World, you know, he, he'll try different accents while he's freestyling. He'll try different melodies and high pitch, low pitch, all different types of stuff. I'm smoking gas. Dope, I don't do my land no more Back in the day, shit, I was lit I feel like a lighter, call me juice, big It's me and McConey I feel like a lighter, call me juice, big That's tight The best thing going Pink molly, tan molly, best thing rolling I feel like a god, god damn it, and you know it My girl is my trophy, so you know I love to show her Off, I pull up on the scene, 40 on me I don't even show it, I ain't Kick it with him, name my homie. I told you if I do my dirt, I do it by my lonely. And all these niggas fake, then a bitch, they be phony. I'm down to spit some crack every time I'm on a beat, though. Chopper hit the stomach, got him shaking, catch a heat stroke. Looking at your nigga, he a pussy, ain't he broke? He's going in on this one. He's got this. He's, you can tell he's really feeling this beat. He's just locked in. Got him shaking, catch a heat stroke. Looking at your nigga, he a pussy, ain't he broke? I don't gotta make it known as long as he. Hey, when you guys wanted to learn freestyle and you guys started freestyling, did you want did you want to learn how to freestyle just for fun, you know, for your friends to express yourself, or is it to use it to write songs or both? Freestyling for fun. Freestyling is so fun. Yeah, it's fun to do with friends, fun to do by yourself, and it's just good to just, you know, after a bad day at school or a bad day at work, just going crazy, just talk about whatever happened. It's a great way for some emotional release. I feel a lot happier after freestyling. Make it known as long as he know Flying through the eye, I'm in the air, superhero Swimming through the pussy in the water like a Nemo Say he wanna fight, I beat him, still his bike, Debo Up down left, right, A, B, Y, X, bitch, that is the cheat code Yeah, it's like every, every, uh, but he has a different taste, right? It's not like better or worse, you know, there's Harry Mack and Juice World, lots of different rappers Like one of my favorite freestyle rappers is Idea, you know, like Most Deaf, Lyrics Born Sage Francis, you know, it's just like everyone's going to have people that they relate to more. And so some people really relate to Harry Mack. Some people more relate more to Juice World. And it's just everyone's different. Everyone has a different background story. So it's just like, it's always different. But I think as far as why Juice World uh, blew up with his music, I think it's because of the vulnerability for sure. For fun. Okay, so you guys want to learn how to freestyle? You guys freestyle for fun. That's tight. Yeah, Juice World. Yeah, Juice World blew up. I think, yeah, vulnerability. I agree with you. Uh, the way he freestyles on beat and doesn't stop. And then the unique bars. Yeah, no, he's super tight. He's super tight. Uh, both. It's just a great way to express yourself and let everything out. Oh, that's a great way to say it. Great way to express yourself and let everything out. Yeah, that's kind of like my favorite way. It's why I started freestyling. It's a great way to express myself. I was very depressed. Uh, I didn't believe in myself. All I did was school, kept my head down, tried to be quiet because I got made fun of a lot in school for being the only redhead. Um... But then I learned how to freestyle, I started opening up, started freestyling at parties and just kind of opened me up, made me more feel more confident and, you know, people were nicer to me because they're like, oh, wow, cool. Anyways, um, but yeah, it's great therapy. And then it's a total gateway drug into songwriting. Freestyling just makes songwriting just kind of happen. I'm smoking gas, getting dope. I don't do my land no, no more. Back in the days. I was lit, looking like a lighter, call me juice, big, big. I'm smoking gas, and getting dope, I don't do my land no more, now I'm lit, super lit, call me juice lighter, yeah, big, bring the hook back.
back, freestyle a whole song. Mm. Me and the mic rapping all night long. Mm -hmm. Chopper mm -hmm. beat his chest, kinda like King Kong. Mm -hmm. Beat your ass on TV to get my J Spring on. Mm -hmm. I'm the type to buy man. Yeah, I heard him say that before. Beat my chest, King Kong. Get my Jerry Spring on. That's tight, that's tight. Beat his chest, kinda like King Kong. Beat your ass on TV to get my J Spring on. Yeah, like at school, I was the first redhead a lot of these kids had ever seen. I was the first redhead. I went to a mostly Latino school, and I'm half Latino. Like, I'm Chilean. My, I'm half Chilean. I don't look like it. Um, and so I would get made fun of a lot for just having red hair. I was the first redhead, like, you know, they'd never seen. Everyone else had dark brown hair, you know. Um, and so I just wanted to hide. I was like, I got too much attention for the color of my hair, so I always tried to hide. And then when I learned how to freestyle, I started opening up more and started to, you know, having that that fun expressing myself, had a therapy. Gave me feel like I had a superpower where I could release stuff when I needed to, you know? Oops, there's go. Oh, I'm the type to buy a mansion up in Atlanta with a black and white car like designer singing panda. You run up, you get pushed, leaned over like a fan. Remember, I was sipping lean like a present came from Santa. I was happy. Young nigga bottling like McGrady in the fourth. Wish a nigga try to play it. I'm a spray, got the torch. You ain't balling how I'm balling. Get the fuck up off my court. If I go broke back to the trap, why the whip him with a fork? Louis on my sweater, they can't do it better than me. Uh, heard you got a wet, but you can't get her wet. I'm a cheetah and they molasses. That's tight. This is sick. I don't smoking gas. Getting dough, I don't do my land no more. <laughs> Back in the days, I was lit, kinda like a lighter. Call me Joe's bit. That's tight. <laughs> well, I just made a whole song. That man just did a whole song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just made a whole song. Oh, dude. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta drop that shit on YouTube. You got to. <laughs> that That's shit is crazy. crazy. That's fucking fire, bro. Yeah, you just crazy. be goddamn. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, yo. You be blacking out. For real. You got that shit on goddamn, like, Bruce Lee. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, yo. You just be goddamn. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, yo. You just be goddamn. For real. You got that shit on goddamn, like, Bruce Lee. Hey, Rex. You got that shit on Bruce Lee. He said he's the Juice Lee. A freestyling, that's tight. How do you think his thought process works? Is he thinking of the next bar while saying the first line? Or is he already four bars ahead? I wish he explained more. Yeah, so I think he's very in the moment. And I think he's been freestyling so long. And before he freestyled, I think in high school, middle school, he would write a lot. Um, to be able to think in terms of similes and metaphors, you have to train your mind. Because like we're not taught how to train our mind to think that way. And I think Juice World had... From you know, from my understanding, he looked up to Eminem, he looked up to Jay Z, he looked up to Lil Wayne, and he studied the best rappers, right? Anybody, it seems like what he liked about the because you know, every rapper, you know, great rapper studies the best rappers that came before them, and so Juice World, I think, studied a lot of rappers who um, were really into similes, who were really into metaphors, and then he probably started writing. He started writing a lot of similes down, a lot of metaphors about his own life, you know, took his passions. How could he take his passions and write similes and metaphors about his own life? And I think that's what he did. Once he's written like 20 to like 100 different similes and metaphors about him, then he's trained his mind. After all that practice of writing, he's trained his mind. He doesn't have to write anymore because now he knows how to make similes and metaphors on the spot. But he also has a list of probably like 20 to 100, not probably like 100, Similes and metaphors that he's used before, comparing himself to basketball players, comparing himself to different guns and women, all different types of metaphors for every different ones of his passions. And so a lot of his freestyles are recycled stuff, but I don't think he's pre-planning it. I think he's coming, he's coming up with it in the moment. And then he's also just coming up with fresh stuff in the moment too, because he's already trained himself to think in terms of similes and metaphors. Not only that, he's also... Uh, uh, comfortable. I'm probably going off too crazy. If you want to go deeper, just take freestyle natural. We'll go. We'll, we'll break down every single level a lot more simple. It'll ease you into getting getting here. Um, 
And I honestly believe you guys can get here. I, I mean, I totally believe you can learn how to freestyle, but in your own way, with your own words, with your own story, not freestyling, you know, with the same content juice of the world, because that'll just mess you up trying to rap about something that's not real for you. You find out what's real for you, and then you're able to go. But anyway, Juice will train his mind to think in similes and metaphors. He's comfortable with experimenting. It's so important because a lot of the magic in freestyling and songwriting happens from experiments, from just trying stuff and allowing yourself not being afraid to fail. So where a lot of the magic happens, like, you know, artists, mo uh, directors, actors, just trying stuff, improving stuff is where you find the magic. And there's two stages in creativity. There's the improv sta improvisation stage and the editing stage. And you want to keep those stages separate so that you can have the improvisation stage there to capture the magic. And then you can go back and edit it. And that's what most rappers do. Even rappers who can't freestyle as good as Juice World, pretty much every rapper can freestyle just enough to be able to freestyle some stuff and then go back and edit it. Even Juice World, he would go back and edit stuff that he didn't like, or him and the producer would go back and organize stuff into a song structure that made sense, a pop song structure. Pretty much all these songs use the same structure. Juice Big, yeah, that's tight line, fire. No, that was a really dope ending. Yeah, so so Little Wayne had um, a lot of metaphors, and I think I think Juice World really liked. Yeah, Little Wayne is like the king of metaphors, and so I think Juice World wanted to have metaphors in his rap, so he studied it a lot. Juice Lee, yeah, Bruce Lee, Juice Lee, that's sick. I'm not Bruce Lee, I'm Juice Lee, that's sick. Let's see the rest of this real quick. Yeah, that was sick. That was sick. Is that Juice World's house? Yeah, it's so cool that uh, Chris Long keeps on putting this out just reminded me so much of little wayne oh newer little wayne. interesting yeah 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 thanks for recommending me this hope this helps um but yeah freestyle like juice world master your flows take my free rap flow course list out your passion topics like 20 different things that you're really into you know so you can focus on stuff so you can create your own world juice world had his own world you want to create your own world with your own passion topics. so what are you really into it could be anything the weirder the better it makes you more unique what are you really into it could be baseball cards maybe you have an ant farm maybe you like to eat snails off the grass maybe you drink your own piss like whatever whatever you're into it's all good maybe you have a crush on gina and tracy maybe gina and tracy both cheated on you maybe you had a threesome and you got an std whatever so you have your passion topics could be bad or good and then you make similes and metaphors related to those topics write a bunch of those so you can start training your mind to think in terms of similes and metaphors and then yeah you have it you'll have a, a good chance but you need to have that foundation of not worrying about rhyming don't stop if you mess up that's your foundation because that'll get you out of you know all kinds of trouble because a lot of people they get stuck when they freestyle you know just expose everything lol yeah, and I'm not sure what you mean, but I think, I think you're saying, I'm, uh, you know, just because like, just because there's methods to learn and there's ways to simplify freestyling, it doesn't take away the magic of it because everyone has their own magic, and it's important to just give yourself space to improvise and to try new things and not worry about failure, and then you can find the magic in your own life in your own freestyles and everyone's going to connect to a beat in a different way. The more you feel like you're getting out of the way, letting your ego get out of the way and letting information from the universe or whatever, whatever you believe in move through you, through the music. I feel like the music lubricates the air and stuff comes through you. And, the, you know, the real freestylers and artists, they allow themselves to connect with something bigger than themselves. It could be just music. It could be just their emotions. And just they're allowing it to all move through without judgment. And just being there, they're also intrigued by the surprise of what could come out, you know, because it's an unknown world. And a lot of people, we need that. We, we need to know what's going to happen next, but we don't know. And Juice World's comfortable living on that edge of not knowing what's going to come next, but just trusting his mind, trusting his process. And it's hard to do, but you guys can do it. Um, all right. I love you. I appreciate you watching. Take my free rap flow course because it's changed a lot of lives already. Help you get into a flow state. And then if you want to go really deep with freestyling, go all the way. Have a lot of fun. Um, learn how to express yourself in a way that like sounds cool that you could be proud of when you're freestyling in front of your friends and press yourself. Then uh, yeah, take the freestyle natural class. It's like a five hour freestyle natural class. It's crazy, it's, but it goes to it breaks it down. People like how I simplify it. Love your channel, man. It's actually so amazing. Glad I found. It. Hey, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll try to be more consistent with these these uh, freestyle tips. And it's fun to do it with actual freestyles. Fun to react to these. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.